You can't even see like the top of my hair. Anyway, I've been trying to get my whole body in there and it don't be working. Let me just, let me back up because I, I want y'all to see like, okay. Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I am Jay. Or Jaye, okay? Y'all know, big enjoy life out here. So, well, if you don't know, then you don't know. But <laughs> Anyway, so today's video is going to be not different, but I am all about stepping outside of my comfort zone for 2023. Listen, if your formula isn't working, then you have to change it. So for 2023, I'm stepping way out of my comfort zone. So I want to step more into editorial makeup, you know, like P. Louise eyeshadow, very big, bold, colorful. So today I decided to go ahead and create this look. And this was my first time doing it. First time doing like editorial kind of. But I did it before, but it wasn't like this, you feel me? So I was like, ah! okay, so I was like, I'm really going to get into P. Louise uh, makeup type looks. I'm thinking about even joining an online academy. So yeah, I was like, let me go ahead and go to Pinterest, like try to recreate one of these looks, you know, add my little twists and colors to it. So I'm going to walk you guys through what I was feeling while make it creating this look and i'm also going to be giving you guys a tutorial on this look like do y'all see this and i you guys do you know i have a voiceover in the beginning of my videos i'm like hey babes welcome back to my channel today's video i just but i'm just so excited y'all so i just had to come on here and say hey like in person you know i was on live and i had did one eye on live everybody was like oh my gosh i love that i'm gonna go subscribe to youtube channel right now so that i could watch that so if you hear from my tiktok live hey 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 and i'm just super excited excited because I stepped out of my comfort zone and I love what I'm doing and this is my first time so and it looks good you feel me go easy on me because this is my first time but it looks good and it's gonna get better like I'm gonna get a lot better at doing editorial looks yeah and I'm excited because I always use this one filter on TikTok right guys so as I'm sitting here filming my TikToks right now I'm like <laughs> I'm trying to turn the filter off I'm like why is that the filter's not turning on. I'm trying to top hitting the, my phone over and over. Like, this phone, like, this phone is not working. My phone is messed up. So I'm like, I keep hitting the filter. Like, oh my God, why is the filter not turning on? The filter wasn't on the whole entire time. But I'm excited because what? That means my makeup was smooth. My eyeshadow's on point. This whole time, I'm thinking that the filter was on. The filter wasn't on. That was on me. That was my filter that I made for my own face. You know, my own makeup skills. So. Anyway, without further ado, let's just skip to chit chat and get right into it. Okay, so we're starting off with my newest beauty faves. If my bays have been here for a while, you already know what this is the She Glam Frida Kahlo brow pen. It is amazing. It gives me these little hair light strokes. I love it so much. Like I this product has me in a choco now. <laughs> this is my new choco product and I use it to like make little hair like strokes But as you can see my eyebrows are chopped. Okay, them things need to get done So I did use it to just draw the tail on my eyebrow just to make it look like they were somewhat done Because these things need to help like a lot. Okay, and then I took my bonus weight concealer This is my concealer that has me in a choco and I really feel like it will forever and ever and ever but no worries because I will be trying new products this spring and summer for you guys. I have a lot of stuff lined up. So yes, I'm just using that concealer to carve out my brows. Okay, top and bottom. Bada boom, bada bing. And I'm making sure that I don't drag that concealer all the way down to, you know, my eyelid too far because we got a lot of color to lay down. Okay, and you know we're going to come through with our bases and paints. So that's why I'm like making it very precise and I'm just going to pat it into place right there. Jumping straight into the eye. I'm taking my P. Louise base like this nice lavender color and I started on my outer I don't even know what you would call that area Guys, remember I said I was gonna walk you through and let you know what I was feeling during this process I was so nervous right here. I was thinking now. Why would you do this? Like What made you want to jump out and do this look like I don't know. It's just so the way these like <laughs> 
the way these editorial looks are like they just so like they start on a weird angle you know and then but then when you see it and you trust the process and everything is thrown together you get it together so now i'm taking my be perfect um Stacey Marie Carnival palette and I jumped right into eyeshadow and I'm like okay so I found the look on Pinterest and that's what I was following not to the T but just to get like a guide of where you know the shadows hit the dark colors lighter colors that's what I was doing so I am just trying to take that navy blue and pat that on top of the purple but not too high because the navy blue is not a main color in this look all it is is going to be some heavy shadow to give that purple color contrast what i noticed a lot too about like these editorial looks and like very colorful detailed eyeshadow don't think these people are using one to two shadows or three eyeshadows when you see blue and purple trust me they have their two main colors and then there's like a bunch of shadows to create that effect now bam you see how the eyeshadow is like big and bold i know y'all probably like dang like that's a lot of eyeshadow yes it is but this is how these people get these eyeshadow looks to get, look big and bold and bright and have that 3d contrast to it like you know how like you see colorful eyeshadow and it's cool it's colorful but then you see the ones that's like why it's just so much more of a 3d effect to it it's popping out you need to have those shadows colors the ones that are darker than the color that you're using So remember y'all, my main color here is purple. That navy blue is just there for a little bit of contrast. So that is why I'm cutting my crease super high. And what I'm using is Albaline. If you follow P. Louise Academy, at first they were using Vaseline and then they came out with their own product. But any of those like petroleum jelly type of products will work with removing the shadow i believe it's perfect because it melts the makeup away that's actually what i use to take off my makeup also so it just melts the eyeshadow away and you, you can either use a q-tip you can use like a paper towel you see how i made it into a very precise corner or you can even just wrap the paper towel around like a brush and use that either way whatever do whatever you gotta do here here goes an example do whatever you gotta do to get that extra eyeshadow off so you can have a very precise cut So again, right here, I was feeling like, what are you doing? You don't know what you're doing, girl. You need to stop. I was doubting myself. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, why do you have one corner with a cut crease and then purple eyeshadow and then you just blending this blue away? But I just kept going. I'm like, I know I can trust the process. I know that this is going to come out right. Let me stop listening to those bad whispers in the back of my head. So i took the blue p louise base along with a kind of a minty green base and i patted those in the front because the contrast is really only meant to be at the end like at the wing of the eyeshadow so that's why that navy blue was there you know to build that contrast on the purple the blue and the green don't really have any so that's why there's no line underneath that another trick to getting these looks on point is to blend 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 okay even when you think you are done blending continue to blend trust me it's going to fall all together now i was starting to calm down because i'm like okay we getting somewhere you know it doesn't look wacky anymore crazy so I started to go ahead and tap my eyeshadows in on top and again blend 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 okay even when you think you're done blending you are not done blending continue to blend also use more colors than you usually would if you are doing a look that goes from purple to blue to green guess what take that dark blue and put it in between the blue and the purple take that medium green and put it in between the light green and the dark green trust me oh you thought we were done with the colors underneath the brow no we are not when i say take more colors i meant that so i even took a little bit of yellow and put it at the end of the green because we gotta blend 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 and i added pink on top of that purple and blue now moving into the crease i took my p louise base and again be very precise be very patient you're not in a rush well i don't know if you're going somewhere but uh if you would go somewhere wearing this uh i don't know anyway 
be very precise okay i was trying to do look up method i'm like girl you know dang well this crease is big and dramatic you know look up method working for this so yes be very precise be very patient when you're cutting your crease the more crisp and sharp and neat your cut crease is the more it's also going to get that contrast to your look the more the eyeshadow is going to lay on perfectly okay make sure your brush is flat when i say flat i mean flat if you have a concealer brush really take it between your thumb and your pointer finger and smush it keep smushing it until you get a very flat brush that is going to help you get a very nice crisp cut crease now that we got that i was like okay okay like this is looking good all right we're doing our thing at first i was like dang but my my emotions switch up okay wait for it again wait just wait for it but yeah i was happy i'm like all right you know the top of the eyeshadow looks good my cut crease looks good it's winged it's nice it's sharp i'm doing a very good job i even went extra and like pointed it out in the corners of my eye so now it's time to tap in the eyeshadow so all i'm doing is taking that eyeshadow that i did on my upper lid and i'm doing the opposite so i'm starting off that very very corner that little tip with pink and of course i'm going to go into purple back into blue green and yellow is going to be at the end again take a brush don't take a brush that's too too fluffy because you're not blending out eyeshadow on like underneath your eyebrow you're patting it into your cut crease that's another thing do not swish and swipe around the eyeshadow especially the first layer that you're laying down just pat it into place and then once you get your main colors down remember i talked about those mid colors that you take to blend those colors together those are the ones that you pat them into place but you still brush you kind of do that back and forth motion to blend those colors together still patting those colors onto the eye and when i say pat y'all i don't mean like eh, little cutesy lightsy pat i mean really it doesn't look like it in this video because i'm taking short strokes but i mean really pressing it in to that base okay that's what's giving it that extra pop of a look like really pressing it into that base making those colors big and bright and bold like press it into your base concealer whatever you use press that color down be sure to be neat with it you know you see how my strokes are like very short as i'm pressing but i'm pressing it hard y'all okay don't poke yourself in the eye now but press down trust me now it is time for my signature y'all we are gonna draw on my wing look it says liquid liner because <laughs> I don't know the name of this liner. I just picked up some liner from the beauty supply store. And plus, I wanted to try new products. That's what they had the next liner. And I put it down. And I picked up this one. I will drop the name in my description box. Or don't worry, my next video, I'll definitely be using the same liner and I'll tell you guys the name. But I was like, let me find, let me see if there's just another liquid liner out there that's nice and bold and matte and black. So I picked up this one, but as you can see, I'm still using my NYX liner brush because there's just no brush like it. Like every one of these liquid liners come with that sponge and I don't like it. So I was like, let me pick up another eyeliner. It's cool. It's very matte, but over time, I noticed that it didn't look as good. So I will be investing in another liquid liner for you guys. So you see, like I messed up my tail a little bit, but it's okay because I went ahead and fixed that. It's giving mermaid. Oh my gosh. But I did go ahead and fix it. So no worries. But do you see the eye? Do you see the progress? Oh my gosh. All right. Time to move on to the other one. Hold on. I had to stop and mention something because I'm just feeling myself as I should, right? But I forgot to mention that my skin is going through um, like a really light chemical peel. I know y'all probably like, why are you wearing makeup? It's not that type of chemical peel. It's very light, but it does dry out your skin a little bit. But my skin is going through that, and I was still able to go ahead and complete this look and body. Okay? Continue watching. Go ahead. Alright, so boom, I finished the other eye on my TikTok live. If you're here for my TikTok live, hey. So now I'm going in with my NYX Marshmallow Primer. I love this primer. It's so light and fluffy. It really does give marshmallow. I say that every time because... I just love when a product lives up to its name, you know? It's not like just feeding us bull. It's, it's really given. <laughs> Anyways, 
now i am going in with my other eye color corrector and no guys i'm not using my ancient revlon one i couldn't find it i know it's here somewhere i'm using another one this is the um la girl pro and now you're probably like why did you use so much i don't know in this video i just i don't know i've been off my skincare routine for a couple days because i am going through a pill so i have to like not use some of the stuff that i'm using so i just felt like my under eyes look dark and i had to like you know really brighten it up under there and it calls for the look the look is dramatic the face needs to be dramatic along with the face so we want it to be bright okay so now i am taking my she glam foundation i love this foundation i slept on it for a while but it's really good and i'm just pressing that into my face using my real techniques into pop face brush this she glam foundation when i first was using it seemed like it was matching my skin so perfectly and then now it gives off like this red undertone so i have to go ahead and add some blue um color corrector in it and yeah can you guys see how it's like matching with my hand because my face is you can see my look at the difference between my forehead and how my face and my hand are matching like i heard that accutane made um like poc skin complexions a little bit darker and it takes a while to go away like your face would get dark i didn't believe it but now i see it my face is like so kind of red and slightly darker than my hands and my chest area so that's why i have to add the color corrector in there so now i'm just taking my same born this way concealer and i am drawing all my triangles with that it's not you see that how the nose is snatched that's how you get the nose snatched okay you take that triangle that you're drawing to brighten up under your eye and you drag it all the way to the side of your nose and make a straight line and your nose will be snatched okay and then i am taking one of my blending sponges and just blending out that concealer same thing goes for my nose my cupid's bow my forehead and my chin now continuing with that newer highlighter method all i did was take my same one sway concealer mix it with some white color corrector to just lighten it up and that gave me a lighter concealer instead of using the yellow color corrector you know it's like mm, i don't really want it i don't want to do that anymore <laughs> like i'm just going to use my born this way yeah so i do that and then i take that same blending sponge and blend that out this just gives me like an extra bright highlight i love doing both methods do what works for you and your makeup everybody is so over the triangles like oh who still conceals like that me me i do because it fits my face don't just be so quick to hop on the trend the new makeup trends like because some of the stuff is just not gonna fit your face i say this all day every day but i need my new subbies to know i need my new base to know like do what fits for your face please don't let nobody force you into doing their new makeup trick so now i am taking my fenty setting powder just to calm that down because it was a little too light and my fenty setting powder is dark it's the darkest yellow that i have so i took that and i patted that into place over my highlight and now i'm taking my laura mercier translucent powder and since my skin is going through this slight chemical pill something told me like girl do not take the sponge and pat it into place just take a little brush and pat it and that's what i did so because I, I did not want it to give ashy because my skin is dry and i felt like it would have to give ashy so i took that brush right there just patted that into place because i'm like no we can't be giving ashy on this look like we cannot mess this look up and because i just felt like my face was so flat y'all y'all want to know honestly i still wasn't feeling the look right here which is why i did the hairstyle that i did i'm like something got to be added or something like it, nothing had to be added i mean the hairstyle i did but the look i love it nothing had to be added i was just overthinking it overthinking that i wasn't good enough and and I bronzed a lot on this look because I just felt like my face looked so flat. Like, I was just trying to make an excuse for, you know, like, doubting myself. But everything turned out fine. And then I went ahead and just added my lashes, my lip liner, and my lip gloss. And, y'all, 
I love how everything came together. Like I was doubting myself so much on this look. Do you see how much I was bonds? I was bonds onto my neck. I'm like, mm -mm, something is wrong. Something gotta give. Like, oh my gosh, I need to fix this look. I need to add some like barrettes to my hair. Like something is just not fitting for me. And nothing was wrong, you guys. Everything was completely fine. It's just I was nervous and I was doubting myself from the beginning. So I felt like something was wrong. Until I went to TikTok, y'all, and I was like, why is this filter not turning on? And it turns out the filter was never on. I was like, oh my gosh, this is me. Like, I did that. Like, do you see the contrast and the eyeshadow? Do you see that cut crease? Do you see that? That is amazing. I love it. I love this look. I'm definitely, definitely going to be doing more editorial looks on my channel. More colorful looks. Double cut creases. All of that stuff. Like this year, I'm really stepping outside of my comfort zone. And nobody can tell me nothing. Okay. So, <laughs> there you go. Here is the look, you guys. I love it. I love it. I don't even have to say I hope you guys love it. Because I know my babes will love it. Okay. So, yes. Like I always say, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and also follow me on instagram guys at j.pierre and on tiktok at j.pierre underscore if for some reason you don't have tiktok or instagram i'm going to leave a list right here on the screen of every single social media platform that i have make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on each one that you have and i will check you guys in my next video okay i love you guys bye